Hello everybody, welcome back to another video inside of Trade Simulator 1.5 and today we're going over a few items that were ruined. Now by ruined, I mean have lost all their demand, it's rather impossible to get, have way too many copies, like Trade Leo accepted. ruined them, or sorry, I was gambling. You know, we're just ruined in general. So, let's get right into it. Ecclesiastes is inviting you to capture the enemy flag, early acts. No thank you. Now, in a lot of cases, when items are released, they're commonly ruined by the timer. The timer is if an item is released and it doesn't have a limited U right here, that means it can have any amount of copies. You just have to buy it within the time it's releasing before it goes limited. Now, this series of hats right here, the Maker Top Hats, they're very expensive items. Usually, in real Roblox, there's only one limited one, SoCal, and it's pretty expensive, I guess. And in here, see a lot of them released. I actually have quite a few of all of these. I have 38 Orlandos and 25 Kansases. I actually have 30, but some aren't all. 12 UKs. This is actually my first horde back when the game first released. But one stands out as the worst, and that would be Portland Maker Top Hat. Now, the reason why this one is so bad is because it was supposed to be 100 copies, but as you see, it released on a timer, since there's no U next to the limited. So, it has 190 copies sold, and as a result, it sold very low and became a horrible item. I had to revive it by uh, transferring my money on this item with 135k sale, and now it's worth 12k, but you know, it's really not that good. You know, I, I had to come in and save it, that's how bad it was. It was like 3k before. Another bad maker top hat is Silver Spring, which isn't that bad. It's not a timer item, but it's just really low quantity. So this item, this item wasn't really ruined by anything, but, you know, it just didn't do very well off, off release, and it's kind of stayed that way. See, it's only 5k. Next item is the Egg Dominus. Now, the Egg Dominus is a really cool item. There's only 38 copies of it, and it would have done really well if it wasn't, like, an unannounced drop. And also, the first sale, as you can see, actually you can't see, it's too far ago. Its original sale was like 1.1 million, so it was really projected. Which, if you know, if you buy something really high off drop, that pretty much kills the item, because people are just going to keep lowballing it, lowballing it, until it becomes like 300k, as you can see. Demand is terrible, trend is unstable. I mean, this is a cool looking Dominus, it's just nobody wants it because of how bad it is. So that's why the demand is terrible. So, it was super projected, and of course it was unannounced drop. Dominus Infernus and Dominus Astra were unannounced drops as well. But of course, they're big Domini, so they're not going to fail like Egg Dominus. So, yeah, a con uh, combination of all that, you know, unannounced UGC Dominus being projected, it, it completely destroyed the item. Now, this is one of the most aggressive ruinings of an item I can think of, other than like, it being ruined off drop, being deckless. Now when this dropped, if you saw that one series, that one trade-up series where it lasted like one week, I actually got this off drop because the series took place during this wave. So my original copy is not here, but I have number one, so that's cool. I fail traded a big amount for that. So it was originally really good, right? It was a good rare and it had a lot of demand. Everybody wanted it. But then this one monkey, um, Tidior, right here, he decided to project it, not project it, hoard it, and he had like 30 out of 50, I think, and when he had all those copies, he decided to do something called a pump and dump. Now that sounds really disgusting, but what it is is basically you get a bunch of items, you hoard them or something, or you put like a lot of demand into them, and you just like release them all when they have like a bunch of demand and they're hoarded. I could do a very similar thing with uh, Peach Thug Shades, which I recently actually stole from Tidy Orbs, so that's cool. I have 42 out of 50. Uh, two of them are on my friends' accounts. See, if I released all of these, Peach Thug Shades would be awful, because a ton would be put back into circulation. A similar thing, I believe, is going to happen with Linked Sword, since 50 of them just got put back into circulation, which is 50%. So. That's basically what happened with Deckless. It got hoarded, then it got released, and nobody wanted it because it was really st stinky and gross. 
So that's why Deckless is so bad today, and nobody wants Deckless, because, yeah. Now this one isn't really ruined, but I'm going to say bling, because it got hoarded for a little bit, and the value council thought that it was hoarded enough where they had to value lock it. So that kept it at 625 for a little while, and recently got raised 100k to 725,000, which is good, so they know that it's not actually hoarded, even though it is, but not that much. Not to the point where it needs to be value locked. So, they finally realized it's not value locked and they raised it, but that about month where they thought it was value locked really hurt the item and kept it low. Like, it should be above Rainbow Shaggy, we all know that, but since it was value locked for so long, it just couldn't beat Rainbow Shaggy. Next one is Dark Assassin. Now, there's a very similar thing that happened to this with Deckless, but on like a much smaller scale. See, this item used to be very good, very rare. It was hoarded by 1234 by Bayofi. He had 8 out of 21, which is really cool. That's a really good hoard. But then he decided to release 3 of them, which I know 3 compared to like 30 released for Deckless. It's not that much, but that 3 released really did hurt the item because people kept on sending low balls for the item. And I just more and more low balls kept on being sent. Some people started accepting those low balls because they couldn't get any actual trades because nobody wanted them. And it just started going down. It was about 3.5 million for a little while, but then the demand, terrible, it's now 2.2 million. Really bad item. But if you're a rare collector, now's the time to get it. You're only 21 copies, 2.2 million. You could 1v1 MBSTF for it. And you could always get another MBSTF. You can't always get another Dark Assassin. Now last, and certainly not least, Duchess of the Federation. Now this was really high off drop, I remember it was like 600,000 when it released, it was insane. I actually failed traded for it when it dropped, because I wanted to. I really regret that, and I'm not going to disclose how much I gave. Now it is 110,000, it went down 500,000. It's crazy. Because, well, it's just not that good looking. And people don't really want it. But, of course, a bunch of, like, dumb people got their hands on it, and they started lowballing it, and they started selling it for low. And when this released, there weren't any values in game, so nobody knew the actual values of items. They just kind of went off wrap, and nobody really traded back then, so it was sales and wrap, that's what drove the demand of an item. And when people started selling this for low, it started going down and down and down, and now it's 110k. So it was ruined by dumb owners, so if you own an item, don't sell it for low, because that makes you dumb and you're gonna, people are going to hate you for it. Alright, that's me it for this video. I just want to do a quick little video showing a bunch of items that were ruined, basically telling you bad items that you shouldn't buy. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!